the problem based on velocity potential function and streamline function. Velocity potential function and streamline function. We know that the equation for velocity potential function is u is equal to minus dou phi by dou x and v is equal to minus dou phi by dou y and the equation for stream function is u is equal to minus dou psi by dou y and v is equal to dou psi by dou x hence u is equal to minus dou phi upon dou x which is also equal to minus dou psi upon dou y and v is equal to minus dou phi upon dou y is equal to dou psi upon dou x. We have just combined the velocity potential function and streamline function. Now this becomes dou phi upon dou x is equal to dou psi upon dou y and dou phi upon dou y is also equal to minus dou psi upon dou x. So now let's move on to the numerical. The problem one states the velocity potential function is given by the expression psi is equal to minus xy cube upon 3 minus x square plus x cube y upon 3 plus y square. We are asked to calculate the velocity components in x as well as y direction and we have to show that psi represents a possible case of flow. So now we are just rewriting the equation that is psi is equal to minus xy cube upon 3 minus x square plus x cube y upon 3 plus y square. This is the equation which is given in the question. Now, when we take the partial derivative of psi with respect to x and y, we obtain dou psi upon dou x is equal to minus y cube upon 3 minus 2x plus 3x square y upon 3 and with respect to y this becomes dou phi upon dou y is equal to minus 3xy square upon 3 plus x cube upon 3 plus 2y and this are my equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now we are asked to calculate the velocity components of u and v. So now this becomes u is equal to minus dou phi upon dou x. So we have the value for dou phi upon dou x that is my equation 1. So this becomes this minus and this minus becomes plus. So this is y cube upon 3. Again this minus and this minus becomes plus. So this becomes 2x and this minus and this plus becomes negative and this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So we are left with x square y. Now this is the value the, or I can say this is the velocity component u that is equal to y square upon 3 plus 2x minus x square y. Now for v this is minus dou phi upon dou y that is my equation number 2. So again this minus and this minus becomes plus. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. This plus and this minus becomes minus. So this becomes minus x cubed by 3. This minus and this plus becomes minus. So this is minus 2y. And this is the velocity component v that is xy square minus x cubed by 3 minus 2y. Now the given value of psi will represent a possible case of flow if it satisfy the 
लैपलेस इक्वेशन दैट इज डाउ स्क्वेर फाइव अपन डाउ एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस डाउ स्क्वेर फाइव अपन डाउ वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर टू वी हैव डाउ फाइव अपन डाउ एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वाई क्यूब अपॉन थ्री माइनस टू एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई सो वी नीड टू पार्शियली डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सो दिस बिकम्स डाउ स्क्वेर फाइव अपन डाउ एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू प्लस टू एक्स वाई एंड डाउ फाइव अपन डाउ वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स वाई स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स क्यूब अपॉन थ्री प्लस टू वाई सो दिस बिकम्स माइनस टू एक्स वाई प्लस टू सो वेन वी एड दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री एंड इक्वेशन नंबर फोर वी हैव माइनस टू प्लस टू एक्स वाई प्लस माइनस टू एक्स वाई प्लस टू सो दिस बिकम्स माइनस टू प्लस टू एक्स वाई माइनस टू एक्स वाई एंड प्लस टू सो दिस माइनस टू दिस प्लस टू बिकम्स जीरो दिस प्लस टू एक्स वाई एंड दिस माइनस टू एक्स वाई बिकम्स जीरो सो इट मीन्स दैट इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग द लैपलेस इक्वेशन and hence the laplace equation is satisfied and it represents a possible case of flow moving on to the next problem the velocity potential function is given by the expression phi is equal to 5 x square minus y square we need to calculate the velocity components at point Four and five. Phi is equal to five x square minus y square. This is the expression which is given to us in the question. Now, when we partially differentiate it with respect to x and y, we get dou phi upon dou x is equal to ten x, and dou phi upon dou y is equal to minus ten y. But velocity components u and v are given by U is equal to minus dou phi upon dou x, so this becomes minus ten x. V is equal to minus dou phi upon dou y, so this becomes minus of minus ten y, so this becomes ten y. Now we are asked to calculate the velocity component at point four and five. So over here x is equal to four and y is equal to five. We just need to substitute the value over here. So this becomes u is equal to minus ten multiplied by four, which gives you minus forty units, and v is equal to ten into five, which is equal to fifty. So we have answer for velocity components u and v as minus forty and fifty units respectively. Thank you.